Okay, we have ourselves the Harley Davidson's Last Chance Garage from Department 56's Snow Village Halloween line. This one was a really cool one to get. Uh, 2016 is when this one came out. That was kind of the last time frame. The 2016, 2017 was really the last time that I was super involved in the Halloween Village. It was right before we got pregnant with, uh, with our son. And then after that, it's just been all kind of him taking over our world, as you could imagine. And so we actually haven't bought anything or displayed anything in the last four to five years. And so now we are able to, yeah, I think our last display, our last full display was 2016. I think we put up a little small one in 2017. But, uh, but yeah, so this one was kind of right there on the cusp. I remember this one coming out, thought it was awesome, but just didn't get my hands on it. We have the crowbar and we have the club but we didn't get the garage. So really wanted to add this to our Harley Davidson area. I uh, just thought it was really cool. So uh, let's get into it here. All right, so here it is the, all right, so here it is the last chance garage from Department 56, their Harley Davidson line. Uh, it has kind of an orangey bulb. I'll try to show that at the end here. Uh, but you can tell that it's definitely a little bit uh, more more orangey, for lack of a better word. Um, but you know, some pieces, kind of the standard bulb that I've seen a lot of pieces have is this one. The, the one in the Last Chance Garage is a bit more orange, and that's probably why it's a little, little bit more brighter orange inside. I think that really sets it off nicely and probably has something to do with the Harley Davidson colors, you know, the uh, standard kind of orange and black for Harley Davidson. Can't remember if they're all like that or not. But anyway, here's a nice look at it. This has a little foam piece when it's in the uh, when when it's in the box that fits around here because that little part of the sign you can tell is kind of shaky has a spring that sticks out on it. But yeah, that has a uh, pretty cool sign there. Nice little crow up top. The, uh, the crow theme kind of maintained through these pieces, the crow bar and all the other deals there. But here we go, just kind of dive into it a little bit more. You know, I will say this, I hate the fact that this light doesn't light up. Um, I think they could have easily put an LED in there um, or somehow m made it to where the, the bulb lit part also kind of routes through and shows through that light bulb, but not the worst thing in the world, I suppose, but it would have been really cool to have that light shining down on that sign and, and everything as well, but um, certainly not something that's... Uh, you know, I'm gonna take away too much from the piece. You know, we have the showroom there, as you can see the motorcycle through the uh, the window there, the, the broken window. And a nice little 3D. I wish they'd have put an actual uh, motorcycle in there. Not sure if you can uh, tell really well. You know, it looks like an actual motorcycle. They did a good job with showing it kind of in a 3D manner, but it's really just a, uh, a cutout, a thicker cutout of a motorcycle. I guess that saves, but uh, but it would have been cool to just put like a little cast model in there. Don't think it could have been too, too much, but don't want to bang them up too much on the details because the details everywhere else, super awesome. Um, so yeah, up here at the top, serving you to the bitter end, we've got the, you know, genuine Harley Davidson oil this sale 666 uh 56 gallons there let's see replacement oil canister required penalty by prosecution and then the uh the hose laying haphazardly on the ground the door that's kind of jarred loose i just love the broken glass window on the showroom that's obviously my favorite part and uh the striking part of this uh of this garage here as 
I turn it sideways, kind of show this left side here. Just a strict sign here. Got some leaves on the ground. Turn it this way so you can see this side. We have Harley Davidson Motorcycles restroom. And then obviously some broken windows. On the very back, some doors, a uh, nice couple of windows to see some light through. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We have the genuine Harley Davidson sign. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, the, the, the paint on these pieces are just phenomenal. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the top now, but has the broken roof there that you can see the, uh, the orange light through these other pieces are just painted these yellow pieces. Um, and then of course you have the leaves there. But yeah, that is your Harley Davidson last chance garage. Pick this one up in an auction, uh, bought several pieces, several department 56 pieces on this online auction house. Had some really good deals, had some uh, so-so deals and just got some pieces that I really wanted. This one was one of the, I don't know really where you would fall. It's one piece that I really wanted to pick up. And it was one of those deals of if I wanted it and I wanted it this year, this was going to be the best chance to get it. Uh, I will show you the, I will show you the, I'll show you the MSRP here is uh, 135 and uh, we paid 130 was the final bid. Of course, there was a buyer's premium for the auction house. Uh, that was $26. The total price that we paid for this piece was 156. Uh, you know, I was happy with spending that much. Uh, it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it's not more than what I could otherwise get, uh, spend for it. So it was kind of one of those, uh, like I said, if, if I wanted it, I had to spend that to get it, you know, on eBay, they're going for you know, $200 plus basically. And so to get this one for about 150 after the premium and everything, uh, was a pretty good deal in my opinion to finish out the Harley Davidson, uh, items so that I don't have to worry about, you know, this one getting harder to find or anything like that. Um, I don't think I'll regret picking it up for that piece or for that price. Um, uh, but anyway, so, uh, let me know what you think about that price. Here's the box that shows kind of the accompanying, uh, pieces as well. So the, uh, this one, I do not have, uh, I actually don't think I have either one of those, uh, pieces. I have several of the motorcycle riders, but, uh, but not those. This one was actually being sold, uh, on the same auction house, uh, that I bought this from, but it went for just way too much from what I thought it should go for. And so I, uh, I bowed out of that bidding. I uh, can't remember what it went for, but it was just crazy. And I just decided, hey, look, at, at that point, I could just buy it from eBay if I really want it. And we have several other motorcycle pieces that, uh, that we can decorate and accessorize. And then if that piece comes up for sale later, that's okay. All right, that's it. That's the Harley Davidson Last Chance Garage. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Do you have any of the Harley Davidson pieces? And if so, which ones? How do you display them? Because I think that's a big piece of uh, the Harley Davidson line. Do you have them all in the same area? Or do you have them spread out to where, you know, the, the club is on one side of your village, the garage is on another. Uh, I'd love to know how you display them in your display. Uh, drop that down in the comments below. Till next time, thank you for checking it out.